Besties, I'm just having some breakfast. Um, let me show you some overnight oats that I made yesterday. Um, and then I put blueberries, maple syrup, and then cinnamon on it, and it looks, it looks, um, but yeah, breakfast and then coffee, which this also looks, um, but it's okay. Breakfast. This. It's actually really good. Um, I've never had overnight oats before. Like, this is actually, like, really good. Like, no, yeah. What? It was really good. Maybe it's because I put ma maple syrup and blueberries and cinnamon, but, like, it still tastes, like, really... It's still really good. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is called, like... John's Killer Protein Proats or whatever. Really delicious. It's just like two scoops and then like a half cup of like whatever milk you want. I think I use coconut and macadamia nut milk because I ran out of my coconut milk. Um, yeah, and you just put a lid on whatever vessel you're using and put it in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, it's breakfast. <laughs> it's good. Mm-hmm. Besties, I'm going to work! Yay! It's 9.15! I'm so done. I guess I'll try to vlog a little while I'm at work so that I have a new cafe vlog to put up. Um, but yeah, guess I'll see you after work! Hey, besties! Um, just picked up my dress from the tailor, blah, um, and now we're gonna go home. Ooh. Then I have to pack and dye my wig. Con crunch. Con crunch. Right now, yeah. we will end this war in Yorktown. Oh Cut them off the sea, but for this to <laughs> succeed, there's someone else we need. Hamilton! So you know what to do when the trench is new to put on the French, I mean. Hamilton! So you're gonna have to use them eventually. <laughs> What's he gonna do on the French, I mean? Hamilton! <laughs> Hamilton! Oh, I'm just my practical, technical, brilliant. Hamilton! What am I feeling, man? Hamilton! I need my right hand, man, back. Yo, get, get your, your right hand, man, back. back. <laughs> no, you gotta get your right hand, man, back. Here we go. Okay. Hi, besties! Alright, so we're gonna start packing oh, and know. do a little last minute wig alterations yeah. um crunch yeah so we're gonna start doing that we're gonna vlog a little She's bit of that and then we're gonna start packing the car so tonight. stay tuned to yes tonight. tonight yes tonight, tonight. my head <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. gives you hell gives you hell
arguably look tan right now. Was Rachel on to something earlier? Because I look kind of... I told you! Do I look a little... A little. A little tan. Like a little. Why? wig update so I section this into the black part of the wig and the orange part because it came with this whole section mixed together and it looks terrible and I was gonna dye it all black this part all black but you know what I'm just gonna cut it out snip snip snip, snip, snip. Four whiffs out of the wig, and we'll call it a day. Rachel, go show your Here's a Shinobu wig! Oh, oh my god, god. that was oh, so good. Out. Hey, besties. So, I'm gonna do a voiceover for this part, basically just explaining the process of how I was able to fix this wig. Um, so I ordered this wig on Amazon around the time that I got my Nezuko cosplay. The pictures did not show the brown section of this wig and I thought it was going to be okay. It also didn't show that the black and the orange sections were completely separate um, instead of it being like a blended black to orange wig. Um, so it was a real surprise when I got this wig in the mail and I saw this big ass chunk of brown hair in the wig um, because Nezuko doesn't have brown hair. So originally I was gonna dye all of the brown webs black because I thought that that was the most logical thing to do. Um, but then I got sick of it and I just cut it all out. I was able to completely remove four of the brown webs from the wig just like by cutting the seam um, along the wig cap and completely removing the weft. Um, but around like the bottom half of the wig, the rest of the wefts were actually sewn into the cap, so I couldn't remove the whole weft without damaging the wig cap. So I just cut the hair away from the seam um, and was able to remove all the hair that way. It ended up being about like eight wefts, I think, that I fully removed. So it was a big chunk and there were some bald spots. Um, but then in, in the next couple clips, I'll be able to show you how I fixed it. And, you know, in the next vlog, you'll be able to actually see it in action. I actually am surprised with how it turned out. I really like how it turned out, um, but I'm definitely going to get a different wig um, for, you know, the next time that I cosplay Nezuko. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's heavier. Yep. Okay, wait, it brought all the curl. <laughs> Get <laughs> the bounce <Okay>. back. Okay. <sighs> Let me get away from here. Hey besties, I'm back. So in these clips, we are literally just taking some black extensions and clipping them directly into the wig cap um, just to cover up the bald spots. And it actually turned out really nice. Um, in the next vlog, I'll be able to show you how it actually looked fully because I didn't take any other videos after this clip um, to actually show the whole wig. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the next vlog um, and I'll be able to show you like the actual finished product. It looks a lot thicker. Just don't keep, don't like. You're not making 